Hi, I'm Dr. Stuart Lipton, MD, plastic surgeon, certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. Let's talk today about breast implant sizing and the RICE test. Realistically, what do you want to know about this procedure? You want to know how you're going to look when it's all said and done. How are you going to look when you go to take your children to school, when you go to church, when you go to the office, when you go out on Saturday night with your sweetie? Do you want to have people wonder if you have had anything done? And if so, what the heck? If they say that was a great idea, that'll be a really good thing. So we're going to use the rice test to help us know how you will look in your clothes after the procedure. The rice test builds a device, a sizer that you can use in a soft, stretchy bra to give the size of the breast implant that will give you the look you want. I'm going to tell you how to do that now. You're going to need a few supplies that are very simple. First, if you would, buy one or several pair of very inexpensive pantyhose that are what they call sheer, very stretchy, so that this can mold over your tissues. You're going to need rice, get plenty, get cheap. And then you're going to need measuring devices. And the way I like to do it is with cups, a full cup, a half cup, or even a quarter cup. What is done is the rice is measured by cups, half cups, and quarter cups. I would like you to take the pantyhose and cut out the thigh section of the pantyhose. Not the toe, because I don't think it's going to be stretchy enough. Not the control top, because it's not going to stretch. So the thigh section and give yourself plenty of room. You can cut off the excess when you're done. So you will first take the pantyhose and tie a knot. Please start by taking one and one half cups of rice, pour it into the pantyhose that you, that you have turned now into a tube, and then tie the knot off at the other end so that it's nice and stretchy. You do not want this to look like a softball. You want this to be able to mold and shape inside a soft bra. Now, I oftentimes say a sports bra, but they're too restrictive. You, re you need a bra that fits almost any cup size, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, want one that fits your chest. If you don't have one and you're going to buy one, you should not have to spend more than 10 to $12 to do this. Now, once you've done that and you try this on with your clothes at home, now you've all heard that, right? In the, in the privacy of your own home, we know how that goes. You have three kids, two dogs, a significant others. It's basically mayhem, but you still can find some time to try this out and you try it out with different outfits, different clothing styles, clingy, blousey and such. This isn't going to work in lingerie, it's not going to work in a bikini, but that's these are the looks you're going to want to, to know, how you're going to look in regular clothes. And then once you start with your cup and a half of rice, where you go from there is to decide, do you need more? Do you need larger? Do you need smaller? You can adjust it by one quarter cup sizes. The quarter cup difference from one size test to another will help better know where we want to end up. So the job is this. You can either open the knot and add more rice or subtract the rice by quarter cup increments, or you can make another set. If you make a second set, it, you better mark them on the outside so you know which one is which, because sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. So what we will then do for you after that is we will use your pictures of your actual breast with imaging and we will be able to show you how you look now and we'll be able to show you with the state of the art imaging what your result will be on your own tissues. So please use the rice test to get us started on this project.